Hello, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to our Tuesday webinar. And uh, with me is Dr. Chris Morris. I'm Tina Johnson. Combined, we have over 65 years of naturopathy, creating formulas, and restoring health for our clients and for our members. And um, we absolutely love what we do. Dr. Chris, good morning. Welcome to today's webinar. It was great to see you in California this last weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was great. And thank you, uh, Dr. Tina. And welcome, everyone. So good to have you join us. We'd uh, really like to share some of the wonderful highlights and experiences we had uh, presenting over the weekend. So, uh, Dr. Tina, where shall we begin? Go for it. Well, let's just jump in. You know, we talked about the history of the company, and I think it's important to understand that there is a very solid foundation. So almost a hundred years ago, our fertilized tissue extract, which it wasn't called that then, uh, you know, names change for ingredients over the years, but our fertilized tissue extract was first used by John Ralston Davidson. And he was utilizing uh, our fertilized tissue extract uh, along with minerals, injecting them into tumors and helping to uh, I, hate, I don't like to say this word cure, but treat cancer and was getting very uh, successful at that. Uh, going forward, you know, he did not get his funding. So the technology, this very important signal molecule technology pretty much went to the wayside until uh, 1985. And that's when Dr. Escalon out of Norway, he was working very, um, I would say, a assertively with pulling out this uh, fertilized tissue extract out of a hen egg, an incubated, fer fertilized incubated hen egg. And he was also in the middle of doing studies uh, with the, this very ingredient and making incredible strides. Then in 2011, when we met him, is when he started to bring that ingredient into the United States to be utilized for formulating uh, with other ingredients. And um, so between Dr. Chris, Bernard and myself, we have been the ambassadors for this ingredient uh, since 2011. Dr. Chris, anything to add here? Just to show that uh, our Telehealth has ingredients, three of the key ingredients, the FTE, the aloe, and the chaga. We have the background from the doctors who know how to represent the, the ingredient, the integrity of the ingredient, the uh, manufacturing of the ingredient, and the science behind the ingredient. So uh, this is what's such a joy to share and help you guys appreciate it. And, uh, understand this formula. So yeah, let's go forward. One thing I do want to really express here is that it is very clear. We are the exclusive provider of this ingredient. So if you see anything out there that claims they're getting anything from Norway, uh, just know they are not. We are very close to the egg producers. I was just there a couple of months ago and you need everybody needs to know that we are the exclusive providers of this ingredient so please know and feel comfortable you have the real ingredient and then in 2016 bernard our chief heart officer founded tello youth and uh, then we came along with him in 2019 joined forces the three of us together and increased the potency of our telehealth formula, making it extremely therapeutic, adding more of the fertilized tissue extract, adding five other ingredients. And the, the third, this third generation of our bioactive polysaccharides, it's a 400 to one concentrate of aloe vera gel extract. And Dr. Chris, do you want to add anything here? Well, let's move on. This is good. Okay. Now, important to know, with our fertilized tissue extract, we, we provide what we call these pre-embryonic signals. These signals are so important in our body, and we 
so many of them that inside our body when we're a baby, because we need them to activate our stem cells, to build the body, to tell our genetics, to create this body up until the age of 21. And then our body naturally just says, okay, I don't need to produce so many because I'm going to use those signals for repair. And so you can see the huge decline, not only in our stem cells uh, over time, but there's also a very large decline in those signals. And so by the age 30, we have 80% fewer stem cells. And look, by the by the age, by the age 80, we have 99% fewer stem cells. What does that mean? That means we have less construction workers in our body. We now have less signals. So what do we do to really help with rejuvenation? We want to optimize those stem cells that we have in our bone marrow. We want to be able to signal to them. So with Telo-Youth, we infuse the body with those signals as though we are young and we recognize them. They're not foreign to us. And so it reactivates that rejuvenation and repair as though we are young again. And that's how you see biological age reverse. And we, that's how we restore health. So we don't focus on disease. We focus on restoring health. Dr. Chris? And again, look at age 30 and that and decline. The decline is because everything's developed, right? As Dr. Tina just mentioned. And here's where we can really get a direct relationship if we're helping to build our stem cell pool is that we look at the integrity of our bones because it's the bone marrow that are the, is the primary source. And if you've got uh, bone hair, you know, issues, you know, arthritis, um, bone degeneration, you know, you go to the doctor and they, they want to do these uh, drugs to help you keep your uh, strength of your bones. And, but it doesn't give you the health of your bones. And this is why it's so important is that when your bones are compromised, your bone marrow is compromised. So there's where you see that the happening and what happens with the direct correlation with our age in our system, our skeletal system that tells us what's going on with our stem cells. So really think about how important exercise is to build the bones and the um, nutrition and diet that we talk about. And of course, how our tele youth and our tele omega really reestablish that uh, skeletal system. Dr. Tina. Yes. And so with the skeletal system, it takes the longest to rejuvenate as well. So some of those things, you know, and, and by the way, those diseases, you know, where Sally Field was out there talking about, you know, some of those medications, um, like you said, they actually create more damage. They help short term, but create more damage long term with the, with the bones. It makes them more brittle. So um, those osteopenia, osteoporosis, just know. Your symptoms are ahead of you, but you can change that. We see it all the time. Um, the exercise that Dr. Chris is talking about is resistance training. It's not really going out and having to do cardiovascular. It's resistance training. So make sure that you, if you have a, want to get your bones stronger, you need to do the resistance training. So let's go ahead and look at the signaling that happens in the body with our stem cells. Whenever there is an injury or a challenge to an organ or tissue, a whole process of renewal takes place in the body to help restore optimal health. Soon after the injury, the affected tissue releases specific signal molecules that travel through the blood to the bone marrow. When the signals released by the injured tissue reach the bone marrow, these messengers tell the stem cells in the bone marrow to divide and create new stem cells which are then released from the bone marrow into the bloodstream. Slowly, the number of stem cells increases in the blood circulation. At the same time, the affected tissue releases additional signal molecules that attract stem cells. As stem cells circulate in the fine blood vessels of the affected tissue, 
and sense the presence of these signals, they stop in the blood flow and migrate into the tissue. Inside the tissue, stem cells slowly migrate to the very site of injury where the signals are being secreted. When they reach the site of the injury and come into contact with the damaged tissue, stem cells begin to multiply and then slowly transform into cells of that tissue. Through this process of amplification, one stem cell can become thousands of tissue cells. It is through this natural process of renewal that the body maintains optimal health every day of our lives. More stem cells in circulation means that more stem cells are available to participate in the process of tissue repair. Great. Dr. Tina, I just uh, start this next slide, but again, I want to emphasize what we shared in our presentations over the weekend for the new people is that we're showing you how we regenerate health rather than treat disease. And this is the process and the stem cells are so key to doing that. It is. And you saw that stem cell system. I don't, I don't know if you guys can grasp it in that video, how innately intelligent the body is. And so those signals that you saw, you know, releasing the stem cells and, you know, circulating those stem cells and then finding the area that needs repair. It's so efficient when we're young because we have a lot, we have an abundant number of signals and stem cells. So it's very optimal, but stressors, aging, you know, toxins, lifestyle, you know, emotional traumas, all kinds of things interfere with this particular cycle. So um, without going into too much detail, we, we do see that, you know, you saw where that damaged tissue was sending out signals, right? And then we have to have our bones, like we mentioned earlier with our marine collagen, we help to build those healthy bones for healthy bone marrow. Then we have three ingredients here. Synergistically, they do so much more than what I'm going to mention, but for this system, what they do is they can release up to 16 or 18% more stem cells to circulate into the system so that those stem cells then can be directed by these two ingredients, the fertilized tissue extract and the L-arginine, to find that damaged tissue and to repair it. So this is why we see old injuries that get repaired when you take your Tello Youth and your Tello Omega. We see um, just symptoms go away, all right? And it's very key and very important to notice these two green boxes here. We have to get the cortisols down. We have to get the stressors down so that this cycle works efficiently. We also have to bring the inflammation down. Um, and so we also, with our formulas, automatically work on inflammation control and balancing cortisols. So if they are too high, these two things in the green boxes, it will interfere with, with this cycle as well. Dr. Chris? Right. Let's, let's talk about how we wanted to focus on dealing with stress for, so we can have energy. This whole presentation on Sunday was about getting our energy back. And the key to the energy, which starts in the cells with the, these uh, energy fac factories, you know, the mitochondria, just think of them it's just, they're, they're like little radar devices and they can read and, and direct either a defense mechanism or an energy mechanism. And defense always takes priority, but as we mediate the stress, we let go of the defense and then guess what? We start having so much more energy. And also we have the ability to build and repair and our stem cells start replicating and activating again, just like we show in the video. And then with making the new tissue and organs, we have these new vital systems again. Now our immune system, instead of again, just working in defense, it starts working on regeneration. Our endocrine system, instead of just, just replicating, trying to survive, it's making more energy. 
the nervous system is just communicating and expressing and, and has the ability to coordinate everything throughout the body. And again, starts with that fertilized tissue extract that number one, it mediates stress. All the things that we show in our studies, that stress study is so important to emphasize this. Dr. Tina. You know, we, we have to make energy, yes. Uh, it's vital to thrive. It's vital for wellness. Uh, and so when you, I want you to just take a look at what drains your energy, you know, whether it's some of the relationships you're in, whether it's how you deal with your job, how you deal with situations and look at what you can do differently to continue to fill your energy quotient. We want to raise the energy. And because when you take your tell you, a lot of people will say, wow, I can handle stress better or I can handle situations better. So it's about keeping your energy strong. It's like being able to go into a stressful environment and not lower your frequency, not lower your energy to the same level of that stressful environment. So part of what we do with Teleyouth and Telomega is help you to stay strong in your energy field and who you are. And so, um, there's so many multidimensional things that we need to do regarding energy, but just know that it does help on the emotional side quite a bit as well. And we talked about, you know, stem cell injections versus the telehealth program. Uh, the stem cell injections, I have a very, very, very good friend who actually sells stem cell injections and he's frustrated uh, he has very good sales, but he's very frustrated why it doesn't work 100% of the time. And their first injection is $12,000, by the way. So not eight, it's 12 for them. Uh, and second injections are $8,000. So it works on a very localized area. It's a single application, application, can be side effects. A doctor actually has, or a nurse has to professionally inject them. And it does not work on inflammation and cortisol, which as we mentioned earlier, you need to make sure that inflammation and, and stress hormones are in balance. Otherwise it interferes with the stem cell cycle. So if you look at our rejuvenation program, someone who is interested in that rejuvenation two programs, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, is about 5,000 or for five months is about $2,000. Very successful. We will guarantee it for all new people coming in. You have full body rejuvenation. You get to take it daily. There's no side effects other than you get to get younger. Um, you can use it at home or when you're traveling. It boosts your own natural stem cell function. You then enhance your cell signaling and receptors. And it does bring down the inflammation and Cortisols. Now, the stress hormones. Now, let's say that after you move through this program, the first six months, and you notice you're getting younger. If you stop the program, you don't. You do not revert back to the exactly the way you were the next day, or even the next week. Your diet, your lifestyle, and everything we're showing you what you can do to enhance your program matters, but. Just know your body went through this rejuvenation process. Hopefully your symptoms, some of the things you were feeling or sensing are then behind you. Dr. Chris, anything to add before I go to the next one? It's younger because you're younger. It's not something that's just a, a <laughs> right. switch. It's something that's transformed, right? I agree. Exactly. Good job. <laughs> All right. This is real. These are not retouched photos. They shocked me as much as they're shocking everybody else. Um, age 53 on the left, age 60 on the right. Um, I was getting ready to go up Mount Kilimanjaro there on the right. Um, we guarantee our program. And all you need to do is take a before picture and an after picture at the three and six months mark. Same background, same angle angles and same lighting. If there is not one single improvement with your face or anything on this rejuvenation record, we will give your money back 100% guaranteed. So the requirements are that you grade yourself 
over here when you first start and then every month grade yourself with the changes afterwards. This would need to be submitted. But because it's an investment and we are so confident in our program, just know we will stand behind it 100% for our rejuvenation program.